This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com here with Herman Oil, the head of Intel's mobile business. I'm here to ask him five questions here at CES 2014. Uh, Mr. Oil, Intel's mobile success in the U.S. has so far mostly been on uh, Windows products. Are you going to get more OS's uh, heavily into the mix in the U.S.? Uh, absolutely. On phones we started right away with Android and on tablets we gave a priority at the beginning on Windows so that is what you have observed. We are catching up on Android very very fast and we are launching uh, as we speak Android tablets as well. So that's coming. Okay, now uh, ASUS yesterday launched a bunch of very interesting Intel powered phones, the Zenfone series, but we haven't seen Intel powered phones entering the US yet. When are we going to start to see those in the market? So usually our customers make the choice in which markets they go. I expect also Intel based phones in, in the US uh, in this year. Now, how will your next generation Airmont uh, process change the game uh, when it's compared to uh, the things that we've seen Qualcomm and NVIDIA talk about this week? Oh, I think uh, we, we still have a long, long, long runway for Silvermont, and you are already starting talking about Airmont. Our, 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 readers, uh, our readers and viewers love to talk about the future. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, I think they are very much of the future is in the Silvermont generation, and uh, 2014 will be the year of Silvermont, where we bring a lot of future to, to our customers in a in really immersive experiences based on uh, on the uh, Silvermont architecture. So Almond will bring us then into the 40 nanometer uh, technology generation and of course crank up uh, the performance uh, envelope again. Now, uh, you're, the CEO of Intel made a bunch of announcements regarding wearables uh, yesterday and uh, the we were earlier talking about the Quark architecture. Can you talk a little more about that and about the place that Intel is going to have in these wearable devices? I think we we are aiming for really a big center place in those wearable devices. However, that Internet of Things may play out. Nobody knows that at this point in time. But be sure we will be in this, and we have brought the Quark architecture uh, right in time to this market, and we continue to bring more innovation to this, as you could see yesterday. And finally, what phone and tablet are you carrying right now? <laughs> You have seen all the bunch of devices that uh, that stick around here. So I carry usually about five, six uh, in parallel. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, this was once again Sasha Segan from PCMag.com with Herman Oil, uh, the head of Intel's mobile business.